Welcome to the Masumi Motion Products webinar. In this webinar, we will be discussing Masumi's lineup of gussets and angle plates. The functionality of a gusset and angle plate can be illustrated using this simple workstation. This workstation will experience a load applied to its unsupported end. As a result, there will be a cantilever force experienced at the supported end of the station. If the length of the workstation is long enough or the force at the end is great enough, the workstation will begin to bend or even break. To help counter the cantilever force, a gusset or angle plate can be installed to distribute the load. It is important for the gusset or angle plate to have a tight perpendicularity tolerance because it needs to fit flush to the workstation in order to function properly. If the gusset or angle plate is not flush to the workstation, it will not properly distribute the force which could lead to bending and ultimately failure. One of the most important characteristics of a gusset or angle plate is the perpendicularity. The perpendicularity is a measure of tolerance between two planes that meet at a right angle. This symbol for perpendicularity can be seen on the left and looks like an upside down capital T. At Musumi, gussets come in two different classes, standard and precision. The difference between the two classes is the perpendicularity tolerance value. For our metric standard class gussets, the perpendicularity tolerance is 0.05 mm for every 100 mm of length. For precision class, our perpendicularity tolerance is 0.02 mm for every 100 mm of length. Musumi's inch gussets are available in just one class which has a perpendicularity tolerance of 0 0.0002 of an inch per every 4 inches. The perpendicularity for angle plates is not separated into standard and precision classes either. The metric tolerance for perpendicularity is 0.02 millimeters for every 100 millimeters of length, and the inch tolerance is 0 0.0002 of an inch for every 4 inches of length. Now that you know a little bit about how gussets and angle plates are used, it is important to find out what the difference between a gusset and an angle plate is. If you look at a gusset and an angle plate side by side, you may notice that the rib of the angle plate looks very similar to a gusset. Angle plates are essentially two perpendicular plates with a gusset added for reinforcement. Gussets are more compact and lightweight than angle plates, but angle plates offer a larger surface area and more mounting hole options. Let's now focus on the different types of gussets and gusset options. Musumi manufactures both cast and machined gussets. Cast gussets are available in 1018 carbon steel and aluminum casting alloy 333. Machine gussets which come in 1018 carbon steel, 304 stainless steel, and 5052 aluminum have a more pristine finish and offer a greater selection of mounting hole options. Masumi's cast type gussets come with through holes at fixed locations. Notice how the A and B dimensions in the drawing are blue. At Masumi, blue dimensions mean the dimensions are not fixed, but rather can be selected from a range of values. Both the A and B dimensions have selectable sizes to choose from, which can be seen in the chart. The dimensions that are not configurable are shown in black on the drawing, and their values are dependent on the A and B values selected. Machine gussets offer a larger range of sizes than the cast type gussets. As you can see, you're able to control the length, height, and thickness for both metric and inch sizes. Machine gussets have three different mounting hole options. The counterbore option allows for a fastener to attach the gusset to the workstation while keeping the head of the fastener within the volume of the gusset. The counterbore hole type is only available for our metric gussets and has available nominal diameters of 4, 5, or 6 millimeters. The through-hole option allows the fastener to enter from either the top or the bottom of the gusset. The tapped gusset allows for more threads to be engaged than a counterbore or through-hole type gusset would when fastened with a nut or bolt. This increase in threads engaged results in a greater holding force. One reason you need this increased holding force is because tapped type gussets have a different profile which can handle a larger load. By increasing the thickness and length of the diagonal section of the gusset, you are able to distribute the load over a greater area, which results in the tapped gusset having a greater max load. Another characteristic of Masumi's machined gussets are the fixed and configurable hole locations. 
You already saw an example of fixed hole locations with our cast type gussets earlier, but configurable hole locations give you complete control over the mounting options. Musumi tries to guarantee you'll have the proper mounting options for your design by allowing you to select the type of hole you want at the location you need. An example of a Musumi gusset in action can be seen here. Two gussets are being used to support a load at the end of this workstation. Without the gussets, the workstation would likely deflect, if not fail, as a result of this cantilever load. This second example shows a pneumatic cylinder fastened directly to a gusset. By fastening directly to the gusset, you're guaranteeing the pneumatic cylinder will be horizontal due to the tight perpendicularity tolerance of the gussets. The last two types of gussets we will talk about are reduced weight and bridge type gussets. Both reduced weight and bridge type gussets are perfect for lightweight applications. Due to their small profiles, the reduced weight and bridge type gussets are unable to handle the same weight as standard machine gussets. The reduced weight gusset comes with tapped holes and a uniform thickness throughout. The bridge type gusset is available with either tapped or counterbore holes, which allows for different directions of fastening. This simple example shows a bridge type gusset being used to support two plates at a 90 degree angle. The bridge profile allows for cords to pass underneath, which keeps the workplace organized. Now that we've been through all the different types of gussets, let's move on to angle plates. Masumi has a large variety of both cast and welded angle plates. These angle plates come in a variety of different sizes and have many different mounting options. Masumi's cast angle plates are available in cast iron, two different cast aluminums, as well as 303 stainless steel. The cast type is the more configurable of the two types, and it is important to note that there is no surface treatment on any of the machine faces or holes. Masumi's welded angle plates are available in 1018 carbon steel, 304 stainless steel, and 5052 aluminum. One advantage of welded angle plates is the surface treatment can be applied to the machine faces. Masumi's cast angle plates are available in both metric and inch sizes. The H dimension always has to be greater than or equal to the A dimension to ensure the load will properly distribute. Masumi's inch selection only allows you to select an H value which will have a fixed A value associated with it. Most of Masumi's angle plates have a fixed W dimension but there are a few different types that will allow for you to select the W of your choice. Masumi's cast angle plates have several different mounting hole options and even offer angle plates with no holes. Purchasing a plate with no holes would allow you to add custom holes that may be outside of Masumi's specs. The most basic hole option Masumi offers is the through hole. The through hole allows you to use a simple fastener to secure your angle plate. The through hole and dowel hole option gives you both types of holes. The addition of a dowel hole allows for easy alignment. Holes slotted in the X direction are perfect for situations where the exact location you want to fasten is unknown. Masumi also offers holes slotted in the Y direction. The opposite angle dowel hole alignment offers another locating orientation. The final hole type is the tapped hole type. The tapped hole type is only available for holes on the face of the angle plate. With all of these hole selections, you are able to mix and match different hole types on different faces. For example, since the tapped holes are only available on the face, we still need to make a selection for the holes on the bottom. We could choose the X direction slots for the base or any other hole that is available for your configuration. Now that you know all the different types of holes Masumi has available, you need to know where you are able to locate them. Some of Masumi's part types have holes positioned at fixed locations, but others allow you to configure them to the location you desire. Masumi's welded angle plates take two metal plates and a gusset and weld them together to form a welded angle plate. Masumi has a no holes option that has dimensions that can be selected in the A, W, H, and E parameters for metric and only H parameter for inch. Musumi also offers welded angle plates with holes. The welded angle plates with holes are available in both inch and metric. There are two different hole arrangement options for the base. The arrangement of the holes on the base depends on the A value you choose. The larger the A value, the more holes you'll get. In this example, you are able to see a welded angle plate holding a metal bar at a 90 degree angle. 
The different mounting hole options allow the angle plate to be secured in a number of different ways. You may remember the second example from earlier when I pointed out the gussets supporting the pneumatic cylinder. You will now see the gussets are mounted to an angle plate. By using angle plates and gussets in tandem, you are able to keep two parallel planes at different elevations. This concludes the Masumi Motion Products webinar on gussets and angle brackets. To explore Masumi selection, visit masumi.info slash gussets.